I went to the America's Beauty Show in Chicago over the weekend, and I wanted to just give a quick recap of some up-and-coming things I saw at the show, and that is coming up next. Welcome back. Christine Beyer here, a master esthetician with 24 years of experience, and I went to this show last week, over the weekend, I was kind of expecting a whole lot more. I think that that show has gone through a bit of a hiccup. I live in Indianapolis, so we just drove up to the Chicago show. I'm not even sure if that skincare part of the show existed last year, if it just like disappeared for a year. If you're an esthetician and you know, please leave in the comments what happened, because last year I went to the skin games in Georgia, in Atlanta, and it was a big whoop to do and quite expensive to go. I had a booth and I was kind of tied up in that last year, so I don't even know what happened last year in Chicago. But I can say that the America's Beauty Show and I think it's the International Congress of Aesthetics or there are two. I don't remember the name of that one in Chicago, but I don't know if it just disappeared last year, but they have combined them, which is a sign of the economy and the times, right? There's, you know, before we had to pay to get into each one and you'd go to the skincare spa side and then you get bored and then after a little while you'd be like begging to get into the the hair side because it was all you know crazy music and people lopping their hair off and <laughs> dying it pink this year was kind of disappointing they did like a health and wellness area and it was basically just vitamins which i thought was strange lots of gummies vitamins trace minerals was there a lot of teeth whitening which is just ridiculous at least i didn't see all those foot spa things where people were like got their foot in the <laughs> I'm sure they were there. I probably just missed them. But what it really did for me is just reinforce the fact that over these last 24 years, I have cultivated products that are really stellar, that I'm still very happy with, that I feel like blow away anything I saw at the, at the show. You know, when you're working with human stem cell cutting edge science and exosomes and PLLA, and you add in all the usual suspects like vitamin A, vitamin C, and all the usual ingredients, I think that is a really solid, well-aging plan. And so all this stuff I kept seeing at the show was just meh. Everything was online. And so this is something I was happy about. There was a lot less waste. Everything was on their app, all the classes, distributor classes, paid classes, they were all on the app and you could favorite them. And so I was able to find what I needed fairly easily. I did see something very troubling, and I see this every year, but it never ceases to tick me off. As estheticians, we pour over ingredient lists, ingredient decks. You know, we learned a little bit about cosmetic chemistry. You can't help but learn about it. Unless you're living under a rock, you really have to learn about these things as an esthetician. If you want to be a great esthetician, we learn these things, right? We're looking at ingredient decks all day long, right? And we've used quite a bit of devices. For me, I've always loved devices. From day one in my practice, I was like, what more can I do besides my fingers? You know, my hands are very healing, but what else can I do? How can I add energy to this face and make it look better? So one of the first modalities I found was LED. And I bought my first LED at a show. I spent way too much money for it. But I'm actually glad I did that because it set me up to know that I always have to do my research and never make huge impulse purchases at, at shows anymore. I really learned a lesson from that, right? But there are people that haven't learned that lesson yet. And I think you can do a lot of damage if you don't know this before you go in because there's like these vulture booths of people who come from outside of the business and you can look at them and know they're not in the beauty business. I just sense that they're coming from the outside and they're just trying to price gouge because there is a particular LED device. It's just a handheld device. And it's like, if you take the Method Bridget Kettner radio frequency device that I sell, it's a very high quality made device. It is solid, gets nice results, but that is red, infrared, and radio frequency. These vulture groups, they're selling this particular LED that is red, infrared, and heat. And it turns on, just like with the method Bridget Kettner, it will turn on and off. If you are conducting and the little lights come on to show me I have completed the circuit and it's conducting, right? And so this has circuitry. I'm not sure if that device had that or not. And anybody I asked, they could not tell me jack about the specs. They did not understand what they were selling. They would have like NASA and Forbes and I've seen here and there, like to add all this credibility, but you look at their device and it's BS, right? And the only reason I get so ticked at this is they want 
For this handheld LED with red and infrared light and heat, they went $10,700 retail, which to me is just straight up price gouging. The price of LED has come down, down, down to the point where you can just grab the Omnilux mask, which is red infrared, and you just pop that on 10 minutes, two, three times a week, and you're golden. You get all the benefits of LED at those two different levels. I was just so shocked at the blatant price gouging, and they all were selling this stupid same device. And what they would do is they would grab you from the crowd, plunk you down, start smashing stuff on your face, and then they would take this device and just smash it really hard against your face. I'm like, look, if I just took my knuckles and did that for 10 minutes, my one side of my face would look better than the other, right? I mean, just like, come on, people, you're killing me. And then they have you look in the mirror, like, oh, look, this side looks so much better. And look, oh, it just looks so much better. And, you know, it's, it's some 20-year-old gal or some 40-year-old guy and just, you know, perfect skin usually, younger, younger types in these booths. And I... I'm trying not to be like discriminatory or anything, but I'm just like, they are not in the beauty industry. These people are vultures that come in and prey upon somebody who may not know anything about skincare, new estheticians, somebody from the hair business, somebody who owns a spy that might wander over and they will get trapped with these people smashing their face with these devices for 10 minutes and then ooing and aahing over the before and after. And it's just LED and heat. And I, I, I'm just like, is there something I'm missing? I mean, because if I'm going to spend $10,000 on something, that's like surgery price area, right? This thing better like make my dinner and clean my house. Come on, what the hell? That kind of stuff just irritates me no end. Because I remember a couple of years ago, I went to the Chicago show. This is before they split. And one guy grabbed me. I remember I had checked off everything on my list I wanted to accomplish at the show. I'd seen all the classes, got everything I needed. This guy grabs me and he starts talking about Jeunesse, which is an MLM. I don't even know if they still exist. I think they do. This formula comes back around every couple of years and people are like, oh, it's so amazing. But you've seen the commercials where they show people with eye bags and then they put this cream on and then they say, don't move your face. And they like blow a fan on them for two, three minutes. And all of a sudden, it, it, and it will show time-lapse photo of like the bag disappearing. And it's the same formula, just repackaged slightly differently. It is essentially clay. It's like a clay statue under your eyes. And it is purely cosmetic because you wash it off at night and it's gone. There is no benefit to this. This particular reincarnation they had put into plastic syringes. It was very gimmicky looking and it was called Vino, Vino Verte or Vino something. And I was just like, please. And I'm thinking all this and I'm like, this is such a scam. And so this guy is piling all this stuff in front of me. Like, I got to take it home. You got to take it home. And this box of these stupid syringes to do the clay mask underneath the eyes that will temporarily take away eye bags was a mere $700. And I was just like, does this guy think I'm stupid? <laughs> it's so irritating. Anyway, this is my diatribe. I will get off my soapbox, but I just want people to know, beware, buyer beware. I try to be as transparent and upfront with y'all as possible. I look for high quality professional grade products that have a ton of actives, you know, not just a whiff, <laughs> a ton of active ingredients that are really going to make a change in the skin. And that's the way it should be in professional skincare, but they're just these vultures. And if you think they're only in the skincare shows. They are everywhere. As a matter of fact, I was reading an article, I think it was in the New York Times, about the glut of junk that is in the supply chain right now. Just junk. And I think it's a byproduct of the influencer economy, which is coming kind of grinding to a halt right now. Anyway, I just want you to know that I'm always looking out for the best products and I'm always looking at ingredient decks. I'm, I'm questioning everything. I can spot a scammer. <laughs> and I'm always trying to bring you the best of everything at a value-packed cost. You know, it's like, I'm trying my best here, but oh, and it just makes me so angry. And so if you're an esthetician, please know that there are a lot of good people at these shows, but there are still the vultures. And I really don't understand why they let them in but they're there every year. So 
Anyway, that's what I saw at the show. I can rest assured that I've still working with some pretty rockin' products that have stood the test of time and will stand the test of time. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye now.